hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl marina here and i welcome you to another episode of a series what nobody tells you about life abroad before i jump into what i'm going to be sharing today guys i just want to take a moment to say thank you to all of you who reached out to me after uh, my last video where i talked about dealing with the loss of my mom uh, guys i just want to thank you for all the kind words all the encouragement and all the prayers uh for those of you who sent me private messages just sharing your own experiences i just want to say thank you um, I don't take it for granted at all. at all. Like I said, the healing process is still um, ongoing and I just want you guys to know that I'm making progress and I'm doing a lot better today like you can tell. So thank you. Thank you so much guys. I appreciate all the love and all the concern. I'm going to be jumping straight into what I'm going to be sharing today guys. So life abroad teaches you to do things the proper way. Guys, I say proper way for lack of a better language but it is so different. I used to live in Abuja, Nigeria, and the predominant emotion in the air is tension. There's one kind of agitation that's everywhere. Like everybody's in a hurry. Nobody wants to yield to the other. Like people are angry. Like all that needs to trigger a fight is one small thing. Like, but here it is so chill. People are so laid back. Nobody's in a hurry. I've never had issues being polite but this one the, the degree of politeness i've seen in this place my god that shocks me like you can be walking into a building with somebody and the person who's in front of you opens the door for the people behind to pass like i used to wonder like is it that you people don't have where you're going or what's happening but it's like a normal thing everybody's looking out for everybody you learn you really now learn how to calm down anyhow want to do it like that it's not going to work here you will learn how to calm down and really much follow the pace the way things happen here there are rules that people understand there are laid down regulations that govern different things and you don't need anybody to breathe down your neck to do the right thing i've never seen a policeman on the road control traffic even when the lights malfunction i still do not see police people on the road trying to control traffic there was a day that it had rained it was like a storm i was coming back from work and one of a light on like a major road that I go through was blinking funny. Like from a distance, we could tell that it wasn't working. Everybody automatically just began to assume a four-way stop. Like you get there, stop, and move in the order in which you stop. So the person who stops before you moves before you. Wait your turn. There was no police officer there. But people just knew what to do and they automatically started to do it. Another one that surprised me was the day there was an ambulance coming. Like, yes, there are, there are rules for driving. When there's an ambulance coming, you move to the shoulder of the road on the opposite side. So if the ambulance is coming from the left, you move all the way to the right and stop until the ambulance has passed. There was no police officer there to make sure people were doing it. But people just know what to do and they automatically just started doing it. Like, in my heart, I wonder, like, is this, can we really replicate this? Can, can people really be this proper in Nigeria? Can we really do this? Or like when you go to the store and there are self-checkout options. Like you go there, scan the things you have bought yourself, pay with your card, take your receipt and go. Nobody comes to check all the items one by one to be sure that you're paying for everything. Are there people who have tried to cheat the system? Of course, there are people who do that. Like there are, there are dishonest people here as well. But just knowing that that thing is put there in a way that communicates, I trust that you will do the right thing with that. Like it's, it's amazing. It's very different from what I've always known. People respect cues. Nobody is trying to get in front of the other. Nobody is trying to shunt. Because I mean, what are you saying? That like, your time is more valuable than the time of the other people on the queue no everybody like there's mutual respect for each other that's what i'm trying to explain people respect each other guys it's amazing it's amazing how different how proper you now learn to become when i was in school i used the buses as an every day and guys i did not ever see people struggle to jump into the bus from the window there was no enter with your change that kind of thing and you cannot enter the bus until the people inside who are trying to come down to get off have gotten off like everybody waits guys it's surprising like even me it shocks me till now like how do people just learn to be so proper it amazes me honestly it does or they are sitting they are uh, part of the bus where you where if you sit on those seats and somebody who is on a wheelchair or, or, or somebody who is uh, pushing a child in a stroller comes on you automatically give up those seats people they don't even have to say it twice as soon as you see the stroller you get up and you and you move if you have to go and stand at the back of the bus, so you have to. And people do it automatically. 
traffic rules you will follow if they say don't go beyond speed limits in this place you cannot go beyond speed limit there right if they say school zone like school zone here is 30 kilometers uh, per hour you can't drive beyond 30 kilometers in a school zone from particular in during the school year the school year is september to june in the month of september to june between eight and five it is 30. if you go beyond that the penalties are crazy people just know what to do you calm down like if you have that james bond kind of driving when you see red lights your village people will now whisper to you my child that's the engine and you speed past it bah! like you didn't see the light you cannot try it here it's not like you can't you can but just know that you will have a ticket waiting for you in the mail guys so yeah living abroad just calms you down teaches you to be proper you learn the right way to do things you follow the rules you guys it is so different i don't know how to explain it <laughs> adjusting wasn't so hard for me because i don't have a major problem following rules sometimes you know it gets in your head you want to say i beg i beg i cannot wait let's pass back door it happens to the best of us guys but here i've just had to learn if you are used to cutting corners you will learn the proper way if you are used to doing things through the back door living in a civilized and developed country will show you the way to the front door and you will follow it right so yeah that's what i'm going to be sharing today guys it's adjustments in a good way where you learn the proper way to do things there's no other way to explain it guys that's what really happens so yeah that's what i'm going to be sharing today on this episode of what nobody tells you about life abroad you calm down and learn how to do things the right way <laughs> well thank you so much for watching this video today guys um as usual share your experiences comment like give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it uh please subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so thank you so much for coming back guys until i see you on the next episode of what nobody tells you about life abroad it's mariana signing out thank you have a great day Bye bye